Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Filari Stirit. Today I'm going to take you through English Form 1. And today we are going to look at English Form 1, Lesson 21. Our topic will be on listening and speaking and we will be focused on the subtopic etiquette. And so we'll begin with the lesson objective. So as a student or as a learner, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define what is an etiquette. You should be able to know how and when to use etiquette. So we'll start our lesson by defining what an etiquette is. And say the following. This refers to the formal standards and rules of correct behavior. The formal standards and rules of correct behavior. Etiquette includes use of Katia's language like sorry, thank you, and please. In case you wrong someone, it's important to apologize. It's also important to thank someone when they give you or do something for you. Remember to politely excuse yourself by saying please when making a request. And so when we talk of Katia's language, we have mentioned things such as sorry. And when do we use sorry? For instance, uh, someone is speaking and interrupt. You need to say sorry before you interrupt. When someone does something for you, you need to appreciate them with a word of thank you. And when do we use the word please? In case maybe you want to make a request or Oh, so when do you use the word please in case you want to make a request or when you want an assistance you should always use the courteous words such as please so today we're going to look at telephone etiquette this refers to the correct behavior that one should observe while receiving or making a call there are instances when people are rude on the telephone and he and it hinders proper communication uh, we can read the following conversation and pick instances of improper tele telephone etiquette. We can start. Uh, we have the caller and the secretary. So we can see the caller saying hello and the secretary replying what do you want. The caller goes on. I want to speak to Edward. The secretary uh, replies who are you? The caller re responds that is really none of your business. Is Edward in? The secretary replies, no, he's not. He has left the caller. Can I leave a message? The secretary hangs up. If we look at the above conversation, we see it is rude and both the speakers lack telephone etiquette. To converse effectively over the phone, the caller should say hello and greet the person on the other end. They should introduce themselves and request to speak to the person or the, the other person they wish to converse with. So for the caller, if told to hold on, the caller should thank the receiver and patiently wait to be transferred to the one they wish to speak to. Another one, in case the person is absent, the caller should give a clear message to be relayed to whoever they wanted to speak to. Finally, thank the receiver and say goodbye. Whereas, uh, the receiver on the other end, for instance, in our conversation, we should have maybe the secretary. She should say hello politely and then call acknowledge to the greetings, hello, or good morning to you by the caller. Uh, the secretary should identify the organization the she, he, or he, work, he or she works for if it's an office call and ask how to assist. This is Miss Ayub. For instance, this is Miss Ayub's Enterprises. How can I assist you? So, in any communication, there should be a good etiquette between the caller and the receiver. You, as a caller, when you call, display the good etiquette, and the receiver on the other end should also respond to the questions or the inquiries of the caller. That will make a good etiquette in, in a telephone conversation. For much, uh, you can refer them on Excelling in English, Students Book 1, published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for much, for this and much more, you can contact us on our SMS line as posted, YouTube, Elimu TV, Facebook, Elimu TV, Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for the lesson. Till next time.